Well, I, I hate that it got to this point, but not surprised by how Sunday night went. And you know, for this is kind of interesting for me because for the last five years, this team has been good to varying degrees, and I've expected them to be good. And when they lost, I was always disappointed. When they didn't play well, it was always disappointing, but for the first time since 2002, this team is playing poorly, and I'm like, well, that's what they are. That's, it, it's not surprising anymore, and I, <coughs> excuse me, and I, 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 I hate that, I, I really do. But it, it is what it is, so, um... Uh, Tampa Bay 20, Seattle 10, um, this loss, if our season wasn't dead already, that, that's pretty much it right there, I think. I know, you know, you can throw all the math at me you want, but I'm just not seeing it with this squad right now. So, game itself, again, I, I don't think there's much to get mad at, um, we played like up to our talent level, up to the level I've expected so far this season, and again, I, I, I hate to have to say that, but that's what it is. Um, offense, couldn't generate much offense, I'm not surprised, because, you know, Tampa Bay has this really good defense, for starters, really like just about every level of their defense. Uh, cornerback, I think they could get a little better cornerback, but everything else, safety, linebacker, defensive line, depth, they got a bunch of things going for them. So, Seneca, you know, very tepid performance, but I didn't expect anything more. Um, <coughs> Morris and Jones had one big carry each, and other than that, we couldn't run the ball, as I expected. Um second week in a row, Mike Wale has a big holding call on a significant run, which, you know, I like Wall. I think he's played well this year. Wall and Jones have been playing pretty well this year. Really well, actually. But, last two weeks now, Wall has pretty much screwed up any chance we had at winning with holding calls on significant plays. So, he's going to have to work on that, because otherwise he's playing well. Um, so offensively, that's about it. Um, we didn't have a receiver go over 25 yards. We, uh, our leading receiver, receiver had three receptions. Um, obviously we had the one touchdown in garbage time. Which, you know, I guess the game wasn't technically over yet, but I'm sure Tampa was relaxing a little bit. Um, we had the one turnover a little early that helped put the nail in the coffin. Mare missed his first field goal of the season, which ended up kind of sucking and really damaging our chances later in the game if there was ever any chance. And, you know, Mare has been perfect up until that kick, so I'm not going to call him out too much. I will say, though, it's a kick he should make, and I expect him to make, and, well, it had we recovered the onside kick at the end, we might have ended up carrying as it stands. So, bad day by the offense, but I'm not surprised. I guess the most startling stat, and the stat that tells the whole story in this game, is the time of possession. We held the ball for just over 18 minutes. They held it for almost 42. Defense. Um, I think the time of possession says a lot. We let Tampa Bay hold the ball for too long. Garcia <coughs> played a very nice game, over 300 yards, completing like 75% of his passes. And the frustrating thing with our defense so far this year is there is always somebody open. You know, I think our pass rush is playing okay this year. It's playing okay. <coughs> our run defense, other than the Giants game, our run defense has been pretty great, really. Um... We held down Ryan Grant. This week we held down Graham and Dunn. Uh, we did pretty well against Lynch, uh, Gore, Jackson. Our run defense has been pretty good this year. Um, 
I, I think. Um, the problem is right now our secondary. It's always somebody open. Garcia was hitting way too many medium range passes to like 10, 15, 20 yards down the field and there was always a hole in the secondary and he was finding it and hitting it and I don't know what the problem is. This is the same secondary as last year. Um, you had that play right at the start where the ball got tipped and Hill and Tutubu both had the chance to pick it off but Dunn came out of nowhere and just swatted it away. If we make that pick, it probably changes the whole game. And those are the plays we're not making this year. And, you know, I give credit to work done for making that play because that was the <coughs> biggest play he made all game, one of the biggest plays of the game that nobody's going to talk about probably, but that's a play we got to make. I don't know if Hill and Tatupu fighting over it meant anything. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but... We did stop the run well in this game. We played the run well. We held Tampa Bay to 20 points. We came up with a big turnover inside the red zone. Uh, we did hold them to uh, field goals in some key situations. <clears throat> and Tampa Bay's offense is pretty good. Middle of the road, very conservative. So, when I say we hold Tampa Bay on the road to 20 points, when our offense was completely unable to keep stay on the field, I, I guess I can't say too much bad, because if our defense gave up 40 points to Tampa, they would have had every excuse to, but they forced that key turnover in the red zone that saved us seven points probably. They didn't. We only had one penalty all game. Uh, I think we had another turnover at some point. I, I think me being forced to fumble. Uh, Tupu might have had one too. So, I can't put this one on the defense, but it's a loss, and while I feel there were definitely parts of this team that played better, and we showed some improvement, all I cared about yesterday was, the, was winning or losing, and if we won, we were still alive. If we were lost, if we lost, just... Uh, season is pretty much done done with so that's all I got to say there so I'm going to move on to the rest of the week with that